Years ago, when we were at 3801 River Drive, I started a youth ministry because I saw that we had um, several, at that time, teens and preteens, even though there was just a handful of them, uh, I used to be involved in a church and in a ministry that was still fun for them without them necessarily having to do the same things and act the same way that the adults acted. As parents, we're not everywhere. Um, our kids sometimes tune us out. And so we bring our young people to church, our kids to church, and so they hear it again. And they hear from people that they may think they are cooler or may understand, because you know, parents just don't understand, right? But we have some individuals here at the church who can speak their language and talk to them. For that reason, that's why we birthed the youth ministry. Today, not only uh, youth who came up in our church are still involved in our church, but even more, more specifically, uh, youth who grew up in our church through our youth ministry and now overseeing the whole youth ministry. Same thing that they have received, now they're able to impart back and be role models and examples for, uh, for the young people today. And not just the, the student um, young people ministers, I'm talking about some young people who are fired for the Lord. And you know, that was a big difference too, that you bring in your kids to church and you got their peers holding them accountable and talking to them because they with each other in the school classroom and in the yard, what have you, and they're like, hey, you know, let's not do that. Right now, our youth ministry, we've gone through a refreshing, just as the whole church is, we, we've refreshed our vision. Well, our youth ministry has also refreshed its vision and mission uh, by evolving from rage to epic. The acronym for epic is experiencing power in Christ. We're encouraging our teenagers that Jesus Christ lives within them, and wherever they are, they can experience power. It includes the football field, the basketball court, and includes in their classrooms. A lot of times growing up, when I was young, I thought power only exists in the church. I would see people catch the Holy Ghost, I would see people you know, shout and everything and run around the church, but then when it came down to the classroom, the results wasn't there. But our church, one of the principles is we can take our faith with us. We want our young people feeling that same way and experiencing power. I can finally really, really, you know, translate more of my testimony that a lot of you all heard of. But there's some details that I'm now able to cover to uh, encourage our young people that God is able, that it's not over, that yeah, you may not made the team or something happened academically with you and you're not where you want to be, but God can still step in there. We want our young people experiencing power in Christ and we're very passionate behind that. We want to go against the world and show our teenagers, and show our students what God's word is saying about them. And not just say and show them, we now have it in our life, show them through our love and through our own way of being relevant what God wants to do in their life.